not a quickie. One thing we encounter over and over again is the non-argument. And the thing about this is how surprisingly easy it is to do without realizing it. Sometimes it's obvious. Lower taxes and improve the economy. That's not an argument. But what if instead I said, if you want to improve the economy, you have to lower taxes? That sounds more like an argument, but really it's just the same assertion restated. The argument would be, the Laffer Curve says that you get diminishing returns above a certain tax rate. Here's empirical data that show we're above that rate. Therefore, we need to lower taxes. That is an argument, and this can be deceptive. If today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Not an argument, believe it or not. The argument will be, because today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. You're stating a conclusion that follows from a premise. Another example. If Bob is a bachelor, then he isn't married. Not an argument. The argument would be, Bob isn't married, and so that makes him a bachelor, by definition. Here's a real-life example. Trump's economic policy is bad. Why? Because he's a racist. Not an argument. Even if Trump is a racist, it's a complete non sequitur. His status as a racist or non-racist has nothing whatsoever to do with the validity of his economic policy. It's just an ad hominem. Beliefs, assertions, emotions, warnings, examples, and opinions are often presented as arguments, even phrased in the form of arguments, but they're just not. It's important to be on the lookout for that.